the second phase of polls in manipur is going to be a crucial one 22 seats will go to polls and these are mostly in the hill areas dominated by the naga tribes apart from few areas in the valley like the thobal district but what is more crucial is perhaps the election in the naga dominated hills there are 11 constituencies and this time there is a multi-corner fight you have the bjp which is eyeing the naga votes the naga people's front an ally of the bjp fighting solo and the congress these are the major parties apart from that there are candidates from npp and jdu now we are amid a group of young naga youths they're singing their songs let us talk to them about their music their life and about the issues that involve their politics and their politicians excuse me if i can disturb you what's your name my name is asochi hui i'm so sorry you, uh, i've kind of interrupted you you were playing such a wonderful number thank you thank you can you explain me the lyrics of the song what does it mean okay uh the lyrics is about the youth yeah so it's uh how do i say uh it's a love song yeah it's a romantic song yeah so it's like uh we were we we're too late to meet each other because uh actually it's a based on love story which actually they are together but then they could not able to uh meet their dreams so it's kind of love song and heartbroken song yeah a song of love yes and the politicians are talking about peace in the elections yes how do you see how do you see the elections which are unfolding okay uh election we see this time is very challenging because uh in 44 sc ukru center we have three candidates uh this congress NBF and BJP so both the three leaders are very dynamic and they are well qualified and all the three candidates are potential equally potential uh, from mid 1980s after the tenure of uh, late former chief minister of Manipur young Basu Shaiza uh, abruptly ended till the regime of uh, Congress it was a regime of exclusiveness and then the dawn of uh, Bhajpa came, a government of inclusiveness. During those days, during the reign of the Congress ka government, when it was in the hills and valley ka kafi divide. Tha. But after the reign of uh, the dawn of BJP started, it became uh, you know, a government of inclusiveness. Uh, you know, he's talking about development. Right. What kind of development has taken place in the last five years? And if you compare with the 15 years Congress government, uh, has things changed in the hills, particularly in the Naga areas? Well, I would like to talk about uh, from a background of me being a uh, youth in this very town who has been witnessing a lot of grievances for the past 15 years. There has been a lot of frustration that's been built up within the youth, I could say. And uh, at this point in time, I would also uh, throw some light to the situation where there is a pandemic. And this place that we are living right now is swarming with youths that is back from the city, whether they were in studies, they were in working. But at this point in time, we are facing a big problem. Number one, I should say, is unemployment. We do not have jobs here. People are stranded and at the same time we, sh we also would like to blame the infrastructure here where we are not able to work from home because there is no proper infrastructure. For us to work, we need proper infrastructure. As a youth living in this place, like I said, there has been a lot of frustration that all the youths are going through and today I would like to point out to the, to the government that we are lacking a lot of infrastructures and to any government who is going to run this place, Please hear the youth out that we need development and infrastructure that needs to be built in this place so that we can work from here without we having to go to different place to study or work. That is my point. Very strong points made 
here infrastructure development is something that the hill areas of manipur uh, really need that has been a dominant voice in fact that has been a discourse in uh, uh, in politics as well we'd like to talk to few other people uh, what's your name my name is uh, shangcham shangcham you know there was a time when you talk about the hills and then people would talk and we journalists would talk about the hill valley divide of manipur uh, distrust among communities uh has the situation improved uh yes very much but we still need to do a lot more uh, you know when it comes to hill and valley divide because every every positive change takes place i mean every positive change that we expect uh, it takes uh, time uh, i would say uh in the last 5 years or so uh, we have seen a lot of positive change um during the bjp uh, ruled government but uh, but i i would still you know uh, look forward for many more positive changes that a lot of youths aspires and a lot of youths uh, expect uh, from the government and and election is all about hope and you know a uh, uh, positive change that uh, the youths are uh, uh, aspiring and let's hope that this election will bring change to that hope of change through election that is a very important uh, you know factor in this election yeah. could you explain me the uh, traditional dress that you are wearing uh, what is does this signify okay well the, this is my traditional dress i mean uh, this shawl is called chankom this is specially for the girls for women only women wear this and this one is a mekala or sarong which you call it seijangkashan uh, this is also for women this is uh, among we have so many traditional dress but it has uh, you know different meaning and this dress especially uh worn during you know the wedding season this is a must for us and this one this is a traditional necklace we call it kongsang and each piece again uh, defines a different meaning it has a different meaning and this one also denotes our identity it i mean there is a long story behind this right. it you know define our nation as well from where we come from so because this is a hilly region but from where we will get this shell all this kind of stuff this one but we believe that we come from mongolia uh, the dankul nagas so this shell and the beads that we use everything it defines who we are and now again uh, though it's not so much related with the traditional attire but our traditional attire depicts our identity so this defines the uniqueness of a naga nation as a distinct people but are the political parties or the government doing enough to protect the mm -hmm. identity of the naga people i think they may be doing but since there is no amicable solution as of now we hope for the best uh, what do you do uh, i i lead some youths and i Uh, I am a musician. Uh, we have a band. You have a band. Yeah. Now, you know, music is something which is part of uh, the DNA of Northeast, DNA yeah. of Manipur. Yeah, yeah. Uh, has the government done enough in terms of promoting music, promoting musicians, or, or uh, do you feel that you know uh, that you know promotion of musicians uh, uh, don't really figure in the manifestos or main political discourse? Do you do you feel disappointed? Yeah. they they don't really promote us like uh, honestly say like we have shirok yeah. once in a year that some uh, musician and some artists and some singers had to come together perform mm. them and just live but honestly speaking like more than thousands of musicians are here in town uh like they want to sing they want to play but we don't have these opportunities we don't have platform we don't have stadium we don't have enough uh schools to share and to uh, pour out what we want it so a lot of people end up teaching instead of inspiring people another issue perhaps which is important is that uh when the nagaland firing incident took place last december there were also protest in the naga dominated areas of manipur we'd like to speak with the youngsters on that in fact when the oting firing took place mm -hmm. you know there were protest mm -hmm. in the naga dominated areas in manipur yes. across northeast yes uh, you know this armed forces special power act is there in manipur as well barring the bjp all the political parties have made it a poll issue 
how concerned are you with this? Uh, because BJP says that this is a larger issue. This is cannot be a poll issue, and uh, this uh, is related to the you know internal security of the country. But as individual, how do you see? Well, as an individual. I can't find words to express how much it is heartbreaking for us as a Naga as well as a human being. I think we need to remove ASBA because that is very much a Dragonian act where you will never find such kind of law in other parts of the world, but only in India, which is applied to the Northeast. So we are all human, though we are from different race and different region, because the blood that flows in you flows in me as well. If, you, if I tickle you, it will, you know, make you funny. Likewise. Every one of us feels sad because that is very cruel and blaming as a mistaken identity is, you know, very, very much, what to say, a big blunder from the Amicha point of view, which we never expect. So we as a Naga were, you know, badly disappointed. And I think Aspa should be removed from the Northeast and Nagas uh, in particular at the earliest. So the call of repeal of ASPA still resonates in the hills here. We would like to talk about the larger issue now, the larger issue of the Naga peace process. And we have this young man. What's your name? Hi, uh, my name is Naran Sokhare. What do you do? Uh, recently, I completed my boss graduate and then I'm home and I'm involved in politics now. You're involved in politics? Active politics? I'm an active member of one political party which I don't want to mention it <laughs> okay but you know when you talk yeah. about politics yeah. perhaps what resonates here in the hills and what has been part of the discourse for ages is the fact that the Naga peace process is still something which is yet to see the light of the days yet to materialize as a young Naga how do you s see this uh, I'll start with the politics, uh, in, especially in the hill areas, I should say, in the Tanku region. Uh, politics is kind of like ambitions now. People are, uh, so many youths are now involved in politics. Now, uh, to like improve the livelihood of the people because we are considered as backward society. Talking about the Naga issues, uh, I should say, after the BJP formed the government, uh, we are progressing. Uh, I mean, the talks between the Naga insurgents and the uh, government is on the right path, I should say. Because uh, during this, m me myself, I was born before ceasefire, which came on 1997, I guess, as long as I remember. So before 1997, it was so horrific. So after 97, things were getting better. And then uh, uh, on August 3, 2015, the agreement reached to framework agreement, which in the positions to conclude the Naga peace talk. Now, uh, so many people frame us in the other side, you know, but I should say that Naka Bistok, this is, this is a movement which will never die. So uh, I would like to suggest all the mainland peoples and also the government to take it very seriously since this is our rights. So there you are, a clear voice from a Naga youth urging the government to be more serious with the Naga peace process and perhaps this will always play at least certainly when election comes or whether there are elections or no elections this will always play in the naga society but perhaps the you know the bigger questions for youngsters here are similar to those which are there in other states we have a young man here what's your name rizat tangva uh, what do you do uh, so i recently came back from pune so right now I'm looking for opportunity here. You're looking for opportunity, but are there opportunities here? Um, right now, opportunities are there, but not uh, the opportunity that we get in Pune. Like, I used to work in a corporate uh, company, and the same kind of work is not available. You can work as a, maybe a farmer. Um, you can work as a small time labor or uh, small shop owner you can do but not the same work that we used to, uh, I used to do in Pune so is that a kind of a disappointment for you that the government is yet to create opportunities here 
Um, I think in some ways, yes, but in other way also, I think the uh, opportunities that we have here, especially institutions, uh, colleges and hospitals and governments, uh, policy framing is a little bit lacking in these areas and especially in digital era like ours um, internet connectivity is very poor here um, I can give you an example yesterday we uh, our representative wanted to have a call uh, want to have a call with our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji uh, but there was some connectivity issue so the Webex connectivity also have a big problem here so I believe this can be solved if we have uh, better connectivity and infrastructure in uh, especially in Ukrut down so there you are i think that's the key in terms of solving a lot of issues in this region improve the connectivity connect to the people by creating opportunities and by understanding their problem this is the message that these young naga youths wants to send across to the politicians to the political parties ahead of the second phase of polls in Manipur. In Ukrul, Ratnadeep Chaudhary for NDTV.